All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we would like to give all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, or who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai, the only begotten Son, who the world calls uh, um, Jesus. All right. I want to give double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well. Peace, blessing, grace, and safety to all the Akiyama around the world, preaching his word and truth and sincerity to hope for elect. Uh, peace, blessing, safety also to the one third remnant, which consists of uh, men, women, and children. All right. And uh, it's going to be another quick, uh, a little quick hitter, man. We just uh, going to bring out a script. Uh, basically going about the times that we're in, man. Uh, hey, we're at, we at the end at the end of the world, man. All right? The end of the uh, Esau's rulership, man. All right? And at the end, is, uh, as it says in the Bible, it's going to be uh, wars, uh, famine, pestilence. And, uh, uh, but one thing that's hitting now and really coming is the race wars, man. The race wars are really blowing up, man. All right? But uh, at the end of it all, you're going to have, what, those ICBM uh, nuclear missiles coming, man. That's the World War Three that's coming. Uh, we're just going to uh, get a quick sketch about the race war that's coming because on RT uh, News, they got uh, uh, basically saying how they demonizing, uh, which is already demonized, the Black Lives Matter thing. They're making them a... a what is, it, what is it called, basically? Yeah, bro? yeah. Basically, uh, you know, basically, what's going on is the FBI and Esau is getting ready to, to turn the, the so-called Black Lives Matter movement into a, a, a officially label it as a terrorist organization. Yeah, see, see, you know? see. You know? And why are they doing that? Hey, for you so-called Negroes, man. Mm -hmm. All right, but they want all you tribes, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, so-called. Uh -huh. So, hey, uh, then you got the Dove thing. You seen that? Uh, about the Dove soap, they uh, calling them racist. I'll show you that in a second. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that that racial tension thing, mm -hmm. the NFL uh, kneeling in things. Yep. All right. So this race war is uh, inevitable, man. Con. All right. So uh, go ahead, brother. Con, con. This is Second Ezra thirteen and and uh, and thirty one. And one shall undertake to fight against another, mm -hmm. one city against another, mm -hmm. one place against another, mm -hmm. one people against another, mm -hmm. and one realm against another. Hey, that's what's going on right now, man. Yeah. All right, read, read it back up. Con, con. Second Ezra 13 and 31. And one shall undertake to fight against another, uh -huh. one city against another. One city against another, all right. Uh, and you got your little providences, uh, United States. Versus other so-called cities, man. All right, United States versus Russia. All right, those are basically uh, cities, man. All right, all right. Uh, go ahead, bro. Come. One place against another. Same thing. One place against another. Yep. Uh huh. One people against another. That's one people against another, man. So-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans versus the rest of the nations, man. Yep. All right. Uh huh. And one realm against another. That's beautiful. One realm against another, and that's where we come in, man. We got the uh, realm of the how about shimmy outside the spiritual realm, John. fighting against the uh, uh the realm of Satan, man. The realm of uh, uh the devil, man. John. The spiritual us uh, uh spiritual demon Satan and this counter physical counterpart Esau, man. All right. So we're fighting one good versus evil, man. Yep. All right. Yep. Try not. I think I was doing it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Like, like the brother said, man. Hey, hey, race wars, man. It's one of the last in time prophecies that's gonna pop off over here in Babylon the Great. It's gonna lead to the downfall of uh, of Babylon the Great, aka America. Con, con, yeah, man. So, hey, man, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and confusing the face, brothers. Mm -hmm. All right, and sisters. All right, hey, wake up, come back to your true nationality, so we can be delivered, be hid from uh, this atrocity, man. Con, all right, because times are gonna get uh, uh, worse than everyone was. Matter of fact, give me Daniel hey, 12 and 1 real quick. Con, con. Yep. Yeah, man, times are coming like never before, man. Right. All right. How are we, how are we going to escape that? Lord willing, through the power and spirit. Yeah, how about Shemi Asha? That's the only way, man. John. And hey, this is Daniel's 12 and 1. Uh-huh. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. Mm -hmm. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to the same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. Ooh, beautiful. I forgot that last part. Yeah, All right, so the time is coming like never before on earth. We'll read that last part again. Oh, come, come. Come. This is the last uh, part of Daniel's 12 and 1. Uh -huh. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, 
Everyone that shall be found written in the book. That's the elect, man. Yep. The elect is going to be delivered, man. Mm -hmm. That's found in this book, man. What book? The Holy Scriptures, man. Come, come. All right. Yep. So you about to get something? Yeah. Yeah. You about to sign something? Yeah. Come. Um, hey, beautiful, man. Hey. Yep. Uh, I got I got a, a precept though. Come. Hey, the brother's talking about. Hey, the brother said. Uh, hey, you know. Uh, get ready, man. Uh, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Natives, and, and you uh, confusion the face. Uh, Israelites, all right, you, you uh, Israelite foreigners, all right, how, how you get ready to get uh, to escape these calamities, all right, this is um, Isaiah chapter 26 and 20, come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee, hide thyself as it were for a little moment mm. until the indignation be overpassed, mm. and how you do that over here in Babylon the Great is fleeing uh, this system, man, mm -hmm. coming out of this system and that mindset being stuck in, in being stuck as a Gentile in the flesh, all right, coming out of that, man, and coming into this light is hiding yourself from this indignation. What's the indignation that's coming? The ultimate indignation that you're staring at on the screen, that's right. man. That's right. That fiery indignation. That's right, man. All right? Second death. Man. Con, yeah, that second death. And the, and the scriptures uh, refer to it as that, that death by pain. Mm -hmm. All right? And it says, call my people into thou into thy chambers and shut the, thy doors about thee. Hide thyself, as it were, for a little moment until the indignation be over. Beautiful, man. You got to be hidden in, 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 in the truth. Now. That's right. That's right, brother. All right? You got to be hidden in this truth. Otherwise, you're going to get dealt with out there. That's man. right, brother. And you ain't going to escape. God. All right? God. Hey, yeah, beautiful, yeah, man. Yeah. So we're going to wrap it up with that. Uh, Yahweh Ratazah, that was edifying. God. Say, call her lawyer. Yahweh. Yahweh. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.